Welcome to today's video. It brings us to my optometrist's office. We are talking about how to pick the perfect frames for your face shape and needs. Dr. Sheena Gardner does my eye exams. This is also where I purchase all of my eyewear. So I figured I'd go to the source and the expert to talk to her about how to help guide you on finding the right frames. start with the shapes of frames and okay. and where we go when somebody walks into a place like Ibar. So first we kind of evaluate not only your face shape but also your personality, what you wear. Um, so that kind of goes into it too, kind of knowing what you can handle in your personal life. Are you kind of spunky? So that's kind of the beginning thing. How do you guide someone and, and is it a matter of just trying on everything and seeing what works for you? Well we look at how petite your face is, mm -hmm. how maybe how wide it is, how far your eyes are set apart, or how close. Um, if your face is round, we're going to go over something more square to kind of balance you out. If you're oval, you can particularly wear anything that you want, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, heart faces, we kind of have to stay away from things that are too angular, so maybe something a little bit softer. And um, like I said, high cheekbones, a cat eye looks great. Mm -hmm. Following your eyebrows are huge. We don't want them too high to cover them. We kind of mm -hmm. want to match the curve of your natural eyebrow and your eye. There's just so many things. And then also the depth of the frame. If you have a really short face, we don't want the frame to cover too much of your cheek. So there's just right. all these angles that we're working with to just make sure that it's fitting very nicely. And what about frame color in relation to skin color and hair color? I do a lot of that. So if someone has a lot of pink undertones, mm -hmm. I immediately want to go to a light pink or a rose. It's very pretty. And redheads, I always want to do a navy. Blondes, oh, I love a gold. Blondes also look really good in a black frame. Of course, right. black can go with anyone. There's just so many different plays. If someone's also really spunky, we like to do a red, of course. You can do red with mm -hmm. anything, black, white, gray. Depends on their wardrobe and kind of what they're doing, especially if they have multiple pairs, so then they can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So you have a variety of models for us, and I think yes, it's, I it's great for our audience to see what glasses look like on different people. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that, do a little bit of a fitting, and you can give us an example of why you're choosing certain frames for a certain Perfect. person. Perfect, that'll work. Okay, so this is actually Raina. She's She's a patient of mine. She found us on the internet. She saw that we were doing a lot of um, play on face shape, so she came in, found me, and then she's got a really spunky personality, so immediately was super excited. And also a really good shape, good cheekbones, good lips. I can play off of that really well. And there's a sh face shape and a um, it's actually a frame that I put on her that not many can wear. I think she's probably the only one I've found so far, so I'm going to show you that. And it's very, actually a very unique frame, so it kind of has a cat eye, but then it kind of has the rounded, I don't know if you've seen this one before, no, that's beautiful. Um, has a rounded frame that's also very um, European, so we're just kind of mm -hmm. playing on both of those. We actually went through a ton, but she can play up the gold with her hair as well. So see how it doesn't go too far, yeah. gives a little bit, um, follows the brow line, also goes with the cheeks, and of course her hair, like I said before, kind of plays off her golden, yeah. her golden see how colors. Yeah, can really pull off the gold frame. And it looks well. really pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we also did a similar shape in a sunglass. It just worked out really well that we already had that going for these her. These are a bit more dramatic. Than right. Sunglasses. She wears yes. them all the yeah. time. I love them because I got these in prescription lenses. So oh, I wow. enter my office now okay. with these on. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. Hey! Super, super glam. It kind of gives her that, great. that brunch look. Yeah, and I mm -hmm. see how the frame perfectly mm -hmm. matches where her eyebrow is. It's, it's right there. Right. Yep. And this one's nice. We can lower it or raise it depending on where we need it to be in the face. It has the nose pads. Yeah. But it's, we love it. And then the gradient, of course, kind of shows her, her face to lighten her up. Okay, so this is Michelle, so we kind of analyze her face shape too. Very high cheekbones, great arch in her eyebrows, good chin here, kind of, we can do angles, we can do anything. Also good personality, so I kind of have a full range to work with. I love this frame, it's actually navy, has a little bit of a cat eye. 
And you can see how it just brings up her cheekbones, balances everything out here, and gives her a little pop of color with not being too, too bright. So it's a navy with a little bit of gold to match her undertones of her yellow skin. This next one is also very unique, definitely out there. So if you have multiple pairs, we can play around with some different shapes. This doesn't even have a frame at the bottom, so it doesn't cut off her face. Still gives her the play on the eyebrows, blends with the skin, um, also pops her hair color. We can play around with some lipsticks. We can do black. We can also do some neutrals as far as attire goes, yeah. um, but definitely opens her face up a little bit, as you can see, without having that frame at the very bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna do a series of right and wrong. Right, so when we first saw Marissa come in, you have to really pay attention also to face angles with um, closure eyes for me. She has a um, smaller bed here, so there's not a lot of frame to work with without me cutting off her eyes, basically. And we also have to follow her nice eyebrows. So we can't go too narrow. We don't wanna pull down on the face. We don't want her eyes to be cut off. So I'm gonna show you a popular frame that a lot of people go with. And um, they think that they're just straight rectangle looks good on everybody, but it really doesn't. So we will put that, of course with width it might look good, but you see how it sits on her really low and completely cuts off her eyes. So we would not wanna do that. Round is actually gonna pull her face down. She already has rounder cheeks, she has a gray chin, but you see how it's not wide enough. It's gonna cover her cheeks and make her kind of look sad. And then of course, here's also a cat eye. It's gonna be a little too small. Um, it's not too bad with centering the eyes, but it's gonna fall down on her nose. And then of course this one I would say does definitely not fit her personality, right? But what I like to do is marry everything that would be around, have a little cat, but also be wide enough. So I found the perfect pair for her. Also with blonde, I like black, but I also like gold. And then this is a very youthful, trendy frame that she can basically wear with anything. So you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's got the width, it's got a good rounded here, doesn't cut off her eyes, follows her eyebrows. You can kind of see with the uplift on that. All right, Sheena, you got a guy for us. Um, we're going to play with some with him. I kind of did some things that are kind of outside the box and then also a classic. Oval shaped face so he can do whatever and you'll see that. And um, yeah, we're going to play around with some things. So we went a little classic and simple. Gave him some color on the face to kind of not wash him out. So we went a little bit darker and then a little bit of gray too. So he has light eyes and you can see it adds some structure. So this one's actually a little bit outside the box which he can pull out because of his personality and it's new. So it's still kind of a play on the European style, has the round on the bottom, but then has the bar which is very trendy and kind of something that a lot of vendors are doing these days. We can also add a dark lens. You can do anything you want. Change some sunglasses into glasses, change the glasses into sunglasses, anything works. I seem to always want to put them in a little bit of a rounded with a flatter top. So also another European, but another trend that's really popular now is going with a clear acetate. Um, kind of feels like patients aren't as boxed in, so especially if they're new wear and they're not used to wearing a frame, then we'll put them in something that kind of allows the light through. And then of course like a gray blue on a blonde with blue eyes is kind of perfection for me. Yeah, he can wear basically any frame, but you'll see also on his cheek structure how a little bit of the angle on the round looks good. If I went too round, I probably wouldn't like it too much. So he's in the market for a new pair, so I'm kind of pushing this one, right? <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> so let's let's talk about the difficult stuff. <laughs> right. Because people get sticker shock when they come in to purchase eyewear. I mean, there's the cost of the frame, but then there's the cost of the lens, and it depends on what's going on. So it can really add up. What are some do's and don'ts when it comes to price? So obviously if you want to save on a second pair for backup, it's definitely okay to shop online, maybe just to have something. However, the bigger prices that you may experience in an optical really have a lot to do with the quality of the frame, how long it's gonna last, and most people are spending the most money on the lenses. So if you get a cheap frame, then your lenses, if that frame breaks, you won't have, you're gonna have to pay for the lenses again unless they have another one or if they warranty the frame. So here, most of our frames are a little bit higher 
buyer, but that's because they're handmade. So they're going to have a good warranty backing them. Mm -hmm. And then also whenever you're getting lenses, you want to make sure that they are a higher quality material. They won't chip or break, usually called a polycarbonate. And then you want an anti-reflective, which will help with nighttime mm -hmm. glare, computer glare. You won't see the reflection of the frame. And then also it usually gives you a two-year warranty on the lenses, which a lot of these places don't tell you. Mm -hmm. So they may be offering you something really cheap, but they may chip or break and not have a warranty. Got it. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts about shopping for lenses online? There are so many retailers now like glasses.com where you take a picture of your face and then you can actually try on shapes of eyewear online. Is that a good place for people to start or do you recommend they come in and physically try them on? Definitely physically try them on, but not only with that, if you are having your prescription filled with them, you need certain measurements. So they're going to measure the distance between your eyes. If you don't have someone that's doing that for you, the prescription may be off. You'll get some distortion. Mm. And especially people that are in a progressive with some magnification, if they don't fit it at the right height, then you're going to run into some issues there. So buyer beware, there's risk to that. Definitely. Okay. So last but not least, let's talk about the importance of not just seeing a frame in the mirror, but taking mm -hmm. a picture of yourself with the frame on. Right. So we do that a lot in the office too, mm -hmm. because first of all, everybody wants to see what you look like. You want to know your, what your mom says, what your friend says, <clears throat> what your husband says. Mm -hmm. So we always encourage that, but then also you get to swipe through the pictures to make sure that you like it, how it looks. And one tidbit that we always see happen is the frame sometimes looks bigger in a picture mm. than it does in person. So a lot of people will say, oh, that frame's too big on you, when in actuality, in person it's not. So you need someone there to kind of guide you with that mm -hmm. and kind of tell everybody Everybody at home, hey, it may look a different, it may look different in the photo. Right, and also things always look larger when close up. So you can True. do a face shot, but you can also do a three quarter shot to get some perspective on how that frame suits the rest of you. Exactly, and then yeah. lighting also, we have a lot of frames like Michelle was wearing earlier that's a navy, but you may not be able to see that navy if you mm. don't have light to kind of accentuate the frame. So pay attention to lighting as well. Thanks, mm -hmm. Sheena. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank you, mm -hmm. as always, and thanks for the fabulous frames. Yes, I love, love every those. one. Yeah, These were the amazing. first ones I ever bought from you and I'm now like three or four in. <laughs> right. We had to go with classic in the beginning for we TV, did. but it looks great on you. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Appreciate yeah. all your expertise and insight. Thanks. You're really helping a lot of women try to figure all this out. Thank you so much. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that gave you a framework by which to go by. I appreciate you being with me. It's always nice to be able to share some nuggets of wisdom and to also share people who've helped me along the way. So with your quest to finding the perfect frames for you, go out, be bold and be blessed, and I'll see you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye.